Since the beginning of Pokemon, Pokemon have shown that they have the ability to undergo evolution, a process in which the Pokemon can change form, improve stats, gain access to new types of attacks, and sometimes even develop a brand new typing. Evolution has always been one of the most interesting topics in Pokemon. Evolution can also be very diverse, where one Pokemon can evolve into a variety of other evolution choices, such as the evolutions. There are more than 10 split Pokemon evolutions throughout the Pokemon world, and today, my friend Pokedan and I are going to be counting down our top 10 split Pokemon evolutions. Hey guys, Pokedan here, and I'm honored to be joining Mystic on this countdown video. This is actually part one of our two-part collaboration, so once you're done here, be sure to go over to my channel to check out part two. But with all that being said though, let's get started. In the number 10 slot, we have the Wonder Guarding Pain in the Ass Sheninja. This Pokemon is a Nuzlocke killer and can be the bane of your existence if you do not have a Pokemon that is super effective to either Bug or Ghost. I'm not hating on this Pokemon at all. In all honesty, it's a great Pokemon that can be used very strategically and it can really trick opponents, especially once your team has been weakened down to Pokemon that essentially can't touch it. The one thing I admire most about Sheninja is its evolution method. Essentially, Ninkata evolves in the Ninjask, and if there's an extra Pokeball in the inventory, Sheninja is found in the party. I don't think there's been a cooler evolution method, aside from flipping your DS upside down for Malamar. Other than that, this Pokemon is deadly. Proceed with caution. Coming in at the number 9 spot on this list today, we have the Gen 2 Pokemon Politoed. This frog Pokemon was introduced to us back in Pokemon Gold and Silver as the branched evolution of Poliwhirl. Out of Poliwrath and Politoed, we both prefer Politoed, and to get a Poliwhirl to evolve into a Politoed, you'll need to trade it whilst holding a King's Rock. Politoed is one of the more happier evolutions in the Pokemon franchise. Although it doesn't evolve with high happiness or anything, it has a really happy design and when it's sent out into battle, you can't help but smile. Personally, I also like Politoed because of the Pokemon anime. In the Johto anime, Misty's Poliwhirl evolved into a Politoed, and every time she used it, it looked so derpy but hilarious at the same time. We both really like this Pokemon and it deserves a spot on this list. So we have the beautiful butterfly and the adorable, super cute moth. Which one do I pick? The Moth, of course. I honestly don't know why I like Dustuck so much. Was it because of Jesse's from the anime, the fact that I have a swoop of it on my channel, or the fact that it was one of the biggest stars in my Emerald Nuzlocke, the first ever series I debuted on my channel? I think it's a mixture of all of those things. I mean, Jesse's Dustuck fell in love with another Dustuck in the anime, and it was precious. Mothy pulled through to the very end of the game in Pokemon Emerald, even if I did box it. I also really like the origin of Dustuck being based off of the Acti Artemis, a Japanese moth, and the fact that shiny coloration may be inspired by moths that mimic dead leaves. I love dust talks, I can't really explain any further, and I think it's better looking than Beautifly on the inside, and that's where it truly counts. Fighting their way into the number 7 spot on this list, we have all of Tyrogue's evolutions, Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Hitmontop. Now previously on this list, we've only mentioned one of the branched evolutions that Pokemon has, the ones that we preferred. But when it comes to these fighting types, we like them all equally. Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are two fighting types that were in the original 151, and in Gen 2, their evolution line expanded with the reveal of Tyrogue and Hitmontop. All of these are truly iconic fighting Pokemon, and it's really hard to favour one over the other. But if you happen to have a liking for a certain Hitmon, then good luck with getting the one you want. Out of all the different evolution methods we mention on this list, Tyrogue has to have one of the more annoying ones. For a Hitmonlee, you'll need to evolve Tyrogue at level 20 with high attack and speed. If you want a Hitmonchan, then do the same but with slightly more balanced stats. And for Hitmontop, you'll need to evolve Tyrogue at level 20 with the most balanced stats. Though it could be annoying to try and get the Hitmon you prefer, there's no denying this is an awesome evolution line. So 
So, I'm an evolution connoisseur. I love all of them pretty much all equally, and Dan does too. It was hard to decide on just one out of eight, so we just decided to have all of them. Umbria may be my mascot, true, but all of them are just so adorable. The evolution methods for evolving them are pretty unique as well. Ever since I saw Eevee and friends, I couldn't decide on which one I truly liked the most, other than Umbreon and Sylveon being in second. All of them are equally precious with their actions, and they tend to do very well in any kind of battling. I've seen Leafeon, Glaceon, and Flareon put in work. Trust me, don't sleep on them, especially now since Flareon has Flare Blitz. Took Game Freak long enough. I also really like foxes, they are my favorite animals, and with all of them being based off of them, how could I not like them? Secondly, I stick by my family. Well, that ends off part one of this list. I would have put the evolutions lower on the list, but Dan had some Pokemon he really wanted to put in the top five spots. Speaking of that, the other five are on Dan's channel for part two, and trust me, the evolutions there are pretty amazing too. So if you guys haven't done so already, head on down to Dan's channel and give him some love by clicking this i card over here. If you guys did enjoy this part of the video, be sure to leave a like and share this video with a friend. With that being said though, I'm Mystic Umbreon, and I will see you in the future for more Pokemon content.